I just got in this new 12 volt, 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter by Renogy. This one is supposed to have a real low standby consumption rate. So it'll be interesting to check out this inverter. And with 3000 watts, you can do quite a bit. So a real nice semi-color manual that comes with it. E-warranty card, some stickers, and some screws. Mounting screws and a cable. It's a remote on-off switch. So it looks like a couple of 20 amp outlets on the back side. This must be a hardwire power out, a COM plug. This was for the remote switch, USB-A. Couple of indicator lights there, a green and a warning or red fault. And then on off, and a ground lug. This end, you got a couple of connectors with covers. And a couple of pretty good sized fans on the back side. So on, off, and the rim is for remote. So if you're going to use the remote, you want the switch into the remote position. And I didn't notice this earlier, but these are two 20 amp outlets as well as GFCI. So you've got the breaker switch right there in the middle of the outlets. It says the weight is 13.23 pounds or 6 kilograms. And the standby current is less than 2 amps. Full load efficiency 87% and the inverter efficiency is 90%. About four and a quarter inches tall, one and a half feet long or 18 inches and the width is about nine and three quarters of an inch. Now it doesn't come with any cable so depending on your application you'll have to install whatever appropriate size cables you need but I've got these four aught cables they're about two feet long One's got a fuse and the other one has my uh, shunt for a battery monitor and I'm going to be installing these on this new Renogy 3000 watt inverter. I don't know if those caps are going to fit over these large cables but we'll find out. It's supposed to go sideways and these are too wide. The lug is too large so I'm not going to be able to use the caps unfortunately. Now on the front of the machine as I already mentioned, you've got a USB-A plug here on the lower right hand corner. That's 5 volt or 2.1 amp for charging cell phones and other small accessory items. And then you've got this uh, remote switch. So it comes with a bezel on the outside and some mounting screws. So you cut a recess, you can mount this inside a wall or something with these four mounting screws that go in the corners and then you can snap on the bezel over the top of the screws and it hides everything. So that's a pretty clean mount but I wanted to show how you operate this. You can either turn on the inverter with the switch if that's handy or if you've got this mounted down below like say in an RV in a compartment in the bottom portion of or side portion of your RV where you can't really get to it that easily you can use the remote switch you just need to put this switch into the remote location and then your remote switch can be used to turn the inverter on and off and it gives you an on off indicator or if you have an error of some sort same as the fault here you've got a, a red LED on the switch interface and then you can turn it back off. So that's real handy and uh, actually pretty nice to be able to use that remote switch if that's what you prefer. In addition to the two 20 amp GFCI outlets that are on the front, you've got another option here. There's two Phillips head screws that hold this cover on, but you remove that cover and then you have the three connectors, a line, a neutral, and a ground. So if you want to hardwire this into an RV or into a shed or maybe uh, wire it into a fuse box, you can do that here. 
and then the cover itself has the strain relief already mounted onto it. So you run your wires through that, tighten it down, and then screw this back onto the front so that these are protected if you're going to use that method. 25 amps and then 20 on the GFCI outlets. Now like all of the other Renogy equipment that comes equipped with the Bluetooth, you can use the Renogy DC Home app to access all the information. So we'll look at this app while we're running the inverter. Now one thing that's unique about this inverter in comparison to some of the other inverters that Renergy offers is this one has what they're calling uh, pre-charging and that's safeguarding the battery from peak current surges. So for the loads that require a lot of power right off the bat, it protects your device as well as the inverter and in giving you effortless RV appliance power-ups. It also has a feature that they're calling EcoSleep. It reduces the amount of energy that it pulls when it's in standby. If you just want to power it up, leave it on all the time, it's going to use much less power when it's in standby versus if it was powered up fully all the time. It goes into this echo sleep mode. So as it sits idle, saving power, eventually every minute it'll send out a signal looking for a device that's trying to draw power. If it doesn't draw any power, then it's going to turn back off. And it sends that out about once a minute. So I just wanted to show you. We'll wait until it tries to start this cooktop, which is not on at the moment. It'll power it for a second, and then it'll shut itself back off. And it'll do that every minute or so until it finds something that's actually demanding power or trying to draw power. All right, we just started. It beeped. And then it's going to turn back off because there was no request for power and we'll speed this up come back in a minute okay here in a few seconds it's going to send out another signal looking for a device and there it is tried it again we're still not requiring any power so it'll turn off so that's in the power saving mode then if we go back into the app and we turn the power saving mode off, I'm not going to touch anything other than turn the power saving mode off. It's going to automatically send power and just keep this powered up. So we'll turn that power saving mode off. And it turned on the hot plate. So the outlets now are active all the time. And if you had it in that mode, that's going to consume a lot more standby power than in the uh, previous mode. So that's just to demonstrate that power saving mode and how that works. We've got that induction cooktop, which is about 1300 watts. And then I've got a portable air conditioner unit over here on the ground. That's a 14,000 BTU portable air conditioner unit. It pulls about 15 or 1600 watts. So We'll go up close to 200 amps just to kind of test the inverter. I want to hear how loud the fans are and we'll see how it does. Let's leave it on the 1300 watt setting. We'll do medium and start. So 86 amps currently and on the app it's showing 8.48 amps. That's a thousand watts right now. It's 33.89% uh, of the inverter's capability. So let's go up a little bit higher on the cooktop here. Let's go up to max sear. We'll just max it out. And it shows it's pulling 114 amps at that setting. Let's go back down to medium high. And I'm going to turn on the AC unit over here. And we'll watch a pretty good jump in the amperage. It's on AC with a low fan setting, and it'll take it just a little bit to kick in here, but as soon as it does, we'll know because we'll see the amps jump quite a bit. We'll probably be over 150 amps total. Yeah, I heard it just kick on. The uh, Renogy Smart Pro battery I'm using, this 200 amp hour battery, has a 200 amp maximum discharge amperage, and we're at three quarters of that now at 175 amps. We're showing 15.77 amps coming out of the inverter, 1,957 watts, and that's six, only 65% of the inverter's capability. So it's a beast. Very, very quiet and strong inverter. I'm so far really liking this new Renergy 12 volt, 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverter.
17.74 amps coming out of the battery at the moment. 12.74 volts out of that battery still at that high of a draw. It's a pretty incredible battery. I'll link all this stuff, the new pure sine wave inverter along with the battery and maybe a few of these other items if you have any interest in them. You'll have some links to uh, get more info out of the description area if you'd like. But so far this inverter is just really chugging along real nice. I could feel the air coming out of the front so the fans are on. Hot plates cooking away, heating that water up just about to get to a boil. Now we've got that AC unit blowing nice cold air. I put a light on my camera so you can see the fans spinning. I'll put the camera as close as I can. They're just really quiet fans. All I can hear is the air conditioner. So that's a look at the new 12 volt 3000 watt Renogy pure sine wave inverter. Very efficient especially for standby. Save you a lot of electricity over the course of your adventure or your trip. Check out the description for links if you want more information about it. And I'll put a link on the screen now for another video I think you'll enjoy. Click on that link and we'll meet you over there.